is uh, some controversy with the day before. This is a game we've talked about, a lot of people have talked about. I actually found out in my research uh, for this that this game is the most wish listed game on Steam, which is pretty crazy with all the wow. games on Steam. This one is the most sought after, apparently. Um, so yeah, it's a survival shooter that's been, I don't know if they've done crowdfunding. I feel like they should, um, but they updated their website today. And the weird thing is they said that this game is made by like develop by volunteers, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So in, they did a, they talked with a couple of the lead, uh, lead designers and they said in their that I have the article I'm pretty sure pulled up. Uh, we can talk, I can look at it for sure to make sure, but they said that the game is made almost entirely by volunteers. Some of them are paid. Most of them are paid in like gift cards and game codes and stuff like that. So I don't have a good feeling about this game. I don't have a good feeling about it making it to 1.0. Um, it looks like almost like a pre-rendered Unreal demo. And I don't know if the back end is there of actual gameplay. I, I worry about that. But it looks like the, the demo looks amazing. But I, like I said, it could be a pre-rendered uh, demo that they put together. But like the lighting in the mall and stuff that you can see on screen. Sorry, podcast listener um, <laughs> is is wild. And what they said, it was supposed to come out this summer, but they delayed it until next yeah. year to port it to Unreal 5. So imagine all this stuff in Unreal 5. And I know um, a lot of the coverage I've seen from this is from Big Fry, who I know you've had on before. And um, I've watched some of his coverage and looked at it. Yeah, this game, it looks awesome. Um, it's just a matter of will it live up to expectations and deliver, right? Is this is this actual gameplay? We don't, I guess we re really don't know. I don't know if they've had any, any play demos with any creators or anyone that's gotten their hands on it. To my knowledge, that could be, that could be wrong, but yeah it makes sense from what we've seen it looks like it's extremely popular this is one of those games if they can deliver is going to make a lot of money yeah i don't think it really has even made it to that point yet but it it, nah. it it looks it looks incredible but again yeah we just don't know uh but i wanted to I, since it got delayed that kind of gave me a shaky feeling about it and then they're like this is made by volunteers um, that's a new one to me. I didn't. I haven't heard that before. So that's that's pretty pretty crazy. I wonder if they're volunteers, meaning they're developers at other studios who are just doing this in their spare time, or or what that actually means. Because the game looks visually, from what we're seeing, it looks awesome, right? So um, yeah, let I'm me curious what the experience let me, level is there. Let me make sure we don't have any uh, bad journalism here. We don't want that. Uh, it says. Uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So this is an article from PC Games In. Uh, it's the highest wishlisted game on Steam, higher than even Starfield. And it got wow. delayed until 2023. But in this video, you guys can see some of the lead developers. In an odd turn, this is a quote from the article. In an odd turn of phrase, this includes full-time volunteers who um, work for salaries. Fantastic, which is the name of the developers or the studio or publisher, I guess. Sorry admits that the number of its paid volunteers is limited and the majority of team members consists of part-time volunteers who are unpaid and compensated wow. with, quote, cool rewards, participation certificates, and free codes. Cool. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I wonder I, if that's I, always been the case or if they had, I'm curious. Yeah, very interesting. I'm not sure, but it definitely it definitely got a lot of people talking about it. Uh, yeah, it's like, I'll give you an Amazon gift card if you uh, develop this game for me, it seems like. So I, I don't know about that. It's just another one of those things. Like, that game, honestly, like, looked too good to be true. And then I can't believe they published that on their website. Uh, Nick says in chat, exactly. What's a paid volunteer? That's yeah. an employee, right? Like, just how they said it and stumbled over their words. Uh, it's definitely cause for concern in a game that already has a lot of skepticism surrounding it, even for me. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, cause that's a game, uh, that we've looked at before that we've talked about before. And, uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated that I don't feel that good about it. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> we'll have to see what, <laughs> what happens in 2023. <laughs> yep.